Hey y'all, Tangie with Cricut Crazy. Wanted to talk to you for a moment about adhesives. Um, cause I'd like to get your opinion and I want to tell you mine. Um, I think this is, I am in adhesive hell. This is my ATG gun, which, uh, the last time we were at a crop, um, a bunch of us decorated ours. Um, uh, maybe that, I don't know. It, I've had this for maybe two years and it is the biggest pain in my butt. I am not using generic um, tape in it, but I still will have problem after problem with this thing. Of course, now that I'm taping, it's not going to, yeah, see, it's already come off. It's coming off the, the little spindly. I took this thing apart. I cleaned the whole thing out um, using adhesive remover. Um, I reloaded it. Um, it just, it just doesn't want to work for me. I don't know if it's this gun, um, but if you, you can already see some of the tape is separated there. Um, this is a semi brand new roll of um, the ATG gun tape, and um, I've had to restart it so many times that I'm sure I wasted more restarting it than I did um, actually in using it. So at any rate, so there's my ATG gun, and that is usually my go-to ink or um, adhesive and sometimes um, when I'm having problems with that I will resort to the other ones. I do have a 9 inch Xyron, um, a 5 inch Xyron and then the little X's. I don't use those as much as I probably should but um, I do have those. So a friend of mine gave me this little Xyron one day and I kind of liked it but I, I'm not real good at it yet, but I want you to have to take the lid off. I'm slow. So see, my problem is it gets everywhere else. And what if I don't want to cover a piece that big? So that's one, that's one of her favorites, though. And um, But I give it a whirl occasionally when I have a bigger one. Um, here's the close to my heart um, glue, which I used for the first time this morning. And not a fan. Um, not a fan at all. First off, as you can see, it's leaking. And it's a sticky, hot mess. So I didn't care. It took forever to get the, the glue flowing in there. But there's my close to my heart. Again, not a huge fan. So I've used that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday at Michael's, I picked up their recollection. Um, it had it was three piece tape dot and sliver that I picked up there because I was just so aggravated with this thing. Um, and I like that so far. Anyway, um, let me see if I can show you something. I mean, I mean that went on that went on really fast, but it's only 33 feet. So how long is that going to last? I don't even know how long my ATG is. I didn't look at it. So um, here is the creative memories. Let me tell you the problem with this. I used to love this little thing. But the problem is if you don't use it in a while, the ink or the, uh, why do I keep saying ink? The tape doesn't work anymore. It doesn't come off the little hoogie bobber. And that is a pain in the butt. Look at that. So what crafter wants this, right? Not this crafter, that's for sure. Okay, so that is a brand new roll that I just put in there this morning. As you can see, what a waste of money. And I have six more of them. Okay, so we saw that was a fiasco. And then we have the Martha Stewart, which I, I like these. Um, I buy them whenever they're on sale, either this one or, um, oh, that's Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up. There, she has a smaller one too, Martha does, that I've used. And of course the Zig and what is this? That's Stampin' Up also. So this is kind of like the creative memories, but it doesn't leak much. 
I'm just showing you the different inks, and then I want your feedback. You see how well that works, don't you? Woohoo! Here's the Stampin' Up. Oh, I must not have used this because it doesn't have any juice yet. Hello. Okay, that was a bust. Let's try these two. Surely one of these are. Nope. There we go. He will get blue ink out of most of these pen type. Clearly, um, Stampin' Up! wins in that category. Then you have the Zig 2-Way Glue, which a lot of crafters use, I've seen, um, at crops and such, because that's just real easy to throw in your pack and take with you. Um, I have two of these, and I've seen a lot of people use them. I actually got these in a gift bag. Um, and I haven't used them much, but like I said, I've seen videos of other people and they do use these. So if you're using these, tell me what you like about them. I'd like to know. It seems to me it would take a while to dry, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I'm trying to do contrasting colors here so you can see. And then it has a fat end like me. Oh, that's a little ball type thing. Okay. Okay. So those are most, for the most part, what I use. There's also um, the tacky tape, which I usually only use for when I do a vellum project. And I have this in every size. And a lot of you may not know this, but this stuff has been around for years. And some people think it's it's a new concept, and it's not. I used to be in a crafting community called PALS, uh, print artist lovers, and y we just had to be so creative with our um, with everything because, you know, the craft industry wasn't big back in the 80s and early 90s, and scrapbooking was just trying to take off. And I mean, you were lucky to find different colors, different color cardstock, and when we did, we shared them in the community. We would buy them by the boxfuls and then share them with each other um, to create cards and and fun little things like that. Um, that was pretty, that's pretty sticky. But at any rate, um, so this tacky tape has been around for a long, long time. Um, so there's the adhesives. This is my number one choice if I can get it to work. Then I would have to go to this and then the glue sticks. Now, one of the problems I have is what do you do with these intricate cuts. By the way, I got this punch from um, Michaels for $6.99 on clearance, the Martha Stewart big ol' hunkin' punch. And I also got the heart one. Cool, huh? So at any rate, what do you do about this? Do you run this through your Xyron? Would you use one of these kind of guys on it? Um, or would you use one of these teeny quickie pens? My problem with the quickie pen is I don't think that I can get the coverage I need before it starts drying on another part. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just curious as to what you guys out there would use. So please um, share that with me. I'm going to use this right now just because it seems like it would work. And it doesn't get on my mat here. Oh, now look at that. That's pretty nifty, don't you think? Okay, so there's that. If you can give me any tips or hints with adhesive and what you use and what you like, um, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear more, hear what your thoughts are. Um, or drop me an email if you're the kind that doesn't like to um, be seen in public. I used to be that way too. Okay, so there you are, Adhesive Hell. I would love to know what you're using where you get it, and why you like it so much. Uh, this is Tangie Cricket Crazy. Talk to you later.